Hey, hello everybody. Um, this is Hope for Change again, and I'm gonna be doing my video today on. Okay, well, obviously you already know if you clicked on it, but Mercury, Mercury, not on the planet Mercury, on the element Mercury. And I, um, I want to tell you some uh, some facts and some interesting things about it, besides just showing it to you. Um. Here is the mercury I got. It's um, it's in a glass container. Very, I, I'm very careful to keep it in this container. It's I've never taken it out of the container, and I usually keep it stored and wrapped in cloth and stuff so that it, it won't be disturbed. This is one of the few times that I'm taking it out just to show you guys, because I know that a lot of people, or okay, well, a lot of you people, should think this. Um, so if if you don't, then this is why. Um, it's uh, very dangerous, and if you spill it, um, it, it, you, it would be it would suck. Let's put it that way. Because if you spilled it on hardwood floor or on carpet, uh, it's gonna seep through. It's gonna uh, it would really really be bad because it also mercury evaporates over time and creates a vapor, which uh, yeah it can cause mad hatters and stuff. So it really needs to stay in this glass uh, sealed vial. Um, now, as you notice, it's uh, kind of brown. And you're probably wondering, why is it kind of brown? Like, uh, mercury is not like that color. But you can tell, I'm trying to get it so you can see it. You can tell that it's transparent, right? Like, or that, like in the part where it's transparent, you can tell the liquid, right? Because see, boom, to the top. But see, it's just because there's lots of rust, and because my mother, my mother actually gave this to me, and uh, fuck, I can't even remember. I think it was uh, from my grandfather or my father. Uh, she found this in like one of their toolboxes um, that was just like being thrown out or something, and uh, they were kind of weird, I guess, like me, and like to collect uh, weird, rare things, and they had actually been breaking open like spare parts of things like thermometers and taking little drops from them and I guess because they were taking it from machinery things it, it managed to get rust in it I can't really tell there yeah like that you can tell but um I think it's really cool and uh you can't really tell that it's mercury when it's not moving like it's hard for me to explain but when it moves it kind of shows it's silver more see there he's got some silver going on that would be the color of it if it was all if it wasn't all rusty and when it's like in motion you can tell it's actually kind of neat it's like a magic trick see it's all silver I'm gonna stop But yeah, I'm going to stop playing with this because it's dangerous. And uh, I'll tell you about it. So it's, um, Mercury is element uh, 80 on the periodic table. Um, so it's very, very dense. Uh, what that means being element 80, it means that it has uh, 80 protons um, and 80 neutrons in its center. And it has 80 electrons counterbalancing the, like, the elect positive and negative. And, uh, yeah, it's very heavy element. Um, give me a sec there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wiki something. I know it's not as professional, but whatever. Um, I just want to see how rare it is, because I don't really know how rare, like, if you, do you? Like, I don't, in comparison to, uh, like, crustal abundance. Okay, well, mercury is pretty rare. Um, it's rarer than silver, which I didn't know. I bet, I bet you didn't know that. Okay, so mercury is mercury is actually pretty rare. Um, it's rarer than silver. Um, it's not nearly as rare as gold and palladium and iridium and uh, like those rare elements, but it is rarer than silver. Uh, I'm just looking at a chart right now that has... Um, you could look it up yourself, too, if you don't believe me, uh, on Wikipedia. Or use a different source if you want, but I'm pretty sure it would be the same fucking information. Um, 
Yeah, Mercury, uh, it's crustal abundance. There's different types of abundances, like there's relative abundance, there's crustal abundance, there's core abundance, and then there's like all of space abundance, like how rare it is universally. Uh, but we're going to talk about how rare it is just going on the crust of the Earth. Uh, Mercury, uh, parts per million, is 0 0.067. That's Mercury. Uh, silver is 0 0.08. So, um, yeah, Mercury is a little bit rarer than silver, which I never knew. And what else is interesting about Mercury? Um, well, duh, because I already showed you, but it's a liquid metal, which is pretty cool. And because uh, it's the only liquid metal at room temperature, um, there is a couple of other elements. Um, I think it's gallium. Gallium, I think. So mercury is also known as uh, quicksilver. And it's a heavy silver white metal. Uh, as compared to other metals, it has a poor conductor of heat, but a fair conductor of electricity. Mercury was even found in Egyptian tombs that date as far back as 1500 BC. Mercury was also used a lot throughout history um, for curing things. Uh, it says that in China and Tibet, mercury was thought to prolong life. And then yada yada yada, it goes on and on about that. Uh, the ancient Greeks used mercury in ointments. Uh, ancient Egyptians and Romans used it in cosmetics. Yeah. Uh, alchemists thought that mercury was the first matter from which all metal was formed. That's kind of cool. It's wrong, but that's kind of cool. They believed that different metals could be produced by varying the quality, the quantity and quality of sulfur contained within the mercury. Yeah, we have come a long way since um, alchemists. Even though there are like health implications and precautions that you have to take with this metal, um, I think it's still interesting to have. You know, all things can be dangerous, like fucking water, if you're fucking boiling it on the stove, if you're not careful and you fucking spill that on yourself, you're gonna hurt yourself with water. And we're made out of that. As mercury is an extremely rare element in the Earth's crust, having an average crustal abundance of a mass of only 0 0.08 parts per million. However, because it does not blend geochemically with those elements that constitute the majority of the crustal mass, mercury ore can be extraordinary con extraordinarily concentrated, considering the element's abundance in ordinary rock. The richest mercury ores contain up to 2.5% mercury by mass, and even the leanest concentration deposits are at least 0.1% mercury, which is 12,000 times the average crustal abundance. Okay, well, there's a lot of information on on it if you want to just Wikipedia it yourself. I know you're watching this video because you want to know about yourself, which is totally cool. I'm down with that. But I'm not going to read every fucking thing on it, okay? It says, few substances on Earth are strange. It shines like a mirror, conducts electricity, and it is much of a metal as copper or iron. Yet this metal is a liquid. It is the stuff of legend, the key to alchemy and witchcraft, a deadly poison, and yet also a potent medicine. We use it to weigh the air, generate reflections, and also to measure our temperature. Mercury is poisonous, rots the brain, and general menace. So what exactly is this mysterious substance that most of us have only glimpsed through the glass of a thermometer? Quicksilver, the old name for mercury, is a heavy metallic element, 13.5 times denser than water. This density gives rise to the same, to some of Mercury's most fantastic properties. If you built a bath of Mercury and jumped in it, you would break your bones. Once in, you would bob around on the surface like an insect on water, barely sinking in an inch. If you had the balance, you could easily walk on Mercury and it is possible to play billiards on a mercury bath. The balls would only sink a fraction of an inch. A mercury fountain was constructed in 1937 by World's Fair in Paris, and in Islamic Spain, a large reflective pool was filled with mercury to allow the cliffs to glaze at their reflections. Thanks to the fact that almost anything will float in a mercury bath, they were traditionally used as low friction rotational mechanisms for the giant mirrors in lighthouses. Historically, man has always treated quicksilver 
with a mixture of fear and respect. Fear because it is toxic, and respect both for its strange properties and its supposed medicinal uses. Mozart, who died at the age of 35, was suspected to have been a victim of mercury poisoning. The rather worrying symptoms of which include memory loss, excessive salivation, emotional oversensitivity, forgetfulness, timidity, and delirium. The key symptom is wobbly handwriting. The composer would not have gotten his mercury poisoning from playing with thermometers or making hats, but, but from his notorious womanizing. Syphilis. Yeah. Oh, hey. Um, yeah, syphilis, a venereal disease, was common in the 19th century, and the only treatment was copious dose was a copious dose of mercury, a sort of primitive antibacterial chemotherapy. The use of mercury to treat this disease gave rise to the saying, a night in the arms of Venus leads to a lifetime of mercury. Though no proper studies were done to prove it, mercury had been an effective, if rather brutal, way of treating syphilis. It was administered in multiple ways, including by mouth and rubbing it on the skin. One of the more gruesome methods was fumigation, in which the patient victim was placed in a closed box with their head sticking out. Mercury was placed in the box, and a fire was started under the box, which caused the metal to vaporize. Interestingly, it may have been the use of mercury to treat syphilis that gave rise to those nonsense in that home homeopathy. It may be dangerous, but mercury is also extremely useful. It has myriad uses. The silvering of the backs of mirrors, as a constituent as dental amalgams, despite its toxicity and publicity campaigned by anti-mercury dentists, there is little evidence that mercury-based fillings have ever done anyone any harm. And in countless electrical devices, mercury compounds have been used even in modern medicine, and mercury was also allegedly used in extremely cunning weapons in World War II. Allied spies spread a mercury paste on the wings of fuselages of German planes. Mercury dissolves aluminum, and the planes mysteriously fell apart in mid-air. Mercury's otherworldliness has al always been recognized. In China, India, and Tibet, mercury compounds were thought to prolong life, and they had, although they had often, although they often had the opposite effect. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, subscribe if you want. I have lots of other videos. Um, yeah, there's over 80 of them, and I got lots on different topics, and yada yada, and uh, let me know what you think, uh, I'm going to make more on, uh, I'll do some on iridium, and silver, and gold, and platinum, and maybe palladium too, if you want, make a whole series of metal videos, but yeah, peace.